How you doing, YouTube? Uh, tonight I'm going to be doing a uh, movie review. Um, I posted on Facebook. I says, oh, I'm going to be doing a movie review tonight. And a lot of you might be surprised at the movie I pick for my review. So I guess a lot of people are intrigued now because of what I'm going to pick. Um, it's, um, it's a classic movie. One of my favorites. The, why it's... The story, like I, I first read the book when I was a, you know, little bit of a guy. You know, Whatever. But um, I read the book, and um, actually, I see the movie first, and then I read the book, and that's why I realized when the books tell you more and they change stuff in the movies, that's why I realized it. But the movie I'm talking about is Moby Dick, okay? Starring Gregory Peck, Richard Basehart, um, Austin Wells, directed by John Huston. Um, but uh, the movie, I, I, the reason why I like this movie so much is his determination, like his anger, pretty much killed him. Like his his need for revenge killed him, and he was determined. I mean, it's actually you know good philosophy, like his determination. But if you push too hard in your determination, you can wind up killing yourself. And his, his it was like determination and revenge mixed in together. Um, but I just love the movie. Like I read the book uh, when I, it was like a, a, a school project when I was a kid, and uh, they're like, "Oh, what movie did you just recently watch?" And I picked Moby Dick, and he goes, "Okay, it's a book by Herman Melville." So I picked up the, the book. It, for some reason, I thought it'd be. It was a book. Was this? It was strange. The book was this big, was about that big, and that wide. Right? It was a small. It was weird, but it was like that thick. And very colorful, whatever. So I read the book, and that's when I realized the book tells you more, and it's different than the movie. That's when I realized it then, when I was a kid. Um, of course, the character, one of the characters, the, the uh, Indian character, Gweekway, in the movie, he just threw the. Um, they were doing tryouts to see if they can, you know, to fit the crew members, you know, for, to be good whalesmen, you know, the hunters. Um, in the movie, he threw a spear. To, oh, he, does, they said to him, "Oh no, we're we're full. We don't want nobody. We're done." So you know, uh, Quick Ray was like, "Okay, I don't need you." So he took up his he picked up the spear and he threw it against the uh, wine barrel, and he pretty much hit it like on the bullseye. And then both of the guys were sitting there said, "Here, you got to sign. We want you. We want you." And then he signed it in the in shape of a whale. In the book, he actually begs the cruiseman. The, the, the cruise guys to uh, be on the ship like he wants to be on it like he says oh I have to be on the ship if I remember correctly I read the book when I was you know knee high to a grasshopper uh, but yeah I just love the movie and, and and Gregory Peck is one of the most greatest actors ever like you know from um oh my god now I'm like drawing a blank um uh, to kill a mockingbird. Hello, the you know he is just a, a phenomenal, phenomenal actor. No matter what act, whatever what role he's in, you know he's gonna. It's gonna be a great movie. Even uh, Cape Fear, the original Cape Fear, not the one with De Niro. The original Cape Fear. He was you know he was the original. He's just a phenomenal actor. Just great. Um, and that's the reason why I pretty much liked it because I seen. Uh, to Kill a Mockingbird, and I seen Cape Fear, so I was like, okay, I watched the movie, and for, I mean, for a kid, being that this movie is like kind of a slow drag, I actually sat there and watched the whole thing, which was very surprising for being a kid, but I actually enjoyed it, and then I, I watched this, and then I think the next time I went to the video store, yes, they said video store, you actually had to go to a video store, you know, Get, and get a physical copy, you know. Give them the box, and they go in the back, and they get you the tape, and they give you the little. My video mania I had in Brooklyn was uh, a green um, clamshell, clamshell box, green. And it was funny. The green for the regular movies was the green clamshell. <laughs> the pornos was pink. <laughs> I mean, hello. Uh, but I digress. Let me uh, get back to the story here. But. You know, it's a great movie. I mean, if you like good acting back then, like I said, I for my channel, 
there's I only do old movies like I feel that you might like because I love them I mean I'm not going to say oh you're going to like them I'm just saying trying to give you like a different variety like if you want new movies you want new reviews on movies there's other channels that do a way better job than I do about new stuff because I don't care about new movies I really don't I have no interest in them at all I stick with the classics that meant something that, that, that still in my opinion will be here they'll still stand the test of time like they'll you know they'll keep going they'll still be talked about these new movies not so much so like I said a long time ago these new movies and remakes are like fox in the wind that's gonna fade away but um that's hearsay uh, but this movie, like I was talking about recently, I was like, you know what? I'm probably going to watch it tonight. But I'll do a review first. <coughs> but highly recommended. Richard Basehart, he plays Ishmael. Uh, Gregory Peck, he plays Ahab. Uh, Austin Wells, he plays like the, um, the ship's ship. Some do like I mean, he's like a minister, like he's for because the people like they're like hunters and whalesmen. They go out hunting for whales and stuff like that. And he like gives like sermons. He's like a a preacher, not a priest, but like something to do with the maybe he's a priest, something like that. Yeah, maybe I'm mistaken, but he is a priest. But he's something to do with the uh, the, the whalesmen and the hunters. But great movie, highly recommended. And if you like this movie, you will definitely love can't say definitely love because it's another slow burn movie but the story itself and the meaning to the story it holds up and that is old man in the sea okay like i seen i seen the movie i never read the book i said i read the movie i saw the movie uh with spencer tracy um he's just about he's a fisherman okay and all the he lived on this island that with like maybe 50 or 60 people I think and uh, everybody used to they go out fishing early in the morning they get up and they're out for days catching fish whatever but he he catches fish but not big ones and they kind of make fun of him so he goes out determined to catch the biggest fish ever the big marlin and I'll talk about another review but that's another great movie but this movie Moby Dick I don't know it's it's a slow burn okay it's it's gonna drag, but you gotta watch it. And if you watch the movie, I'm gonna let you know right now. If you watch the movie in the beginning, when Ishmael comes into town, <laughs> there's a guy and an old guy. Well, kind of, semi. Well, he's actually young. Um, he kind of warns Ishmael about Ahab, that how he's gonna, uh, his revenge is gonna kill everybody. Well, if you see that guy in the beginning. You can listen to his voice, and if you're a horror fan from the 80s, there's two movies that this guy played in. That's Ghoulies 2 and uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. The guy I'm talking about is Royal Dano, okay? He was the uh, uncle in Ghoulies. And um, in Killer Clowns, he was the, the guy with the dog. You killed my pool bear! Where's my pool bear? Him. So, this was not his first movie, but like... This movie came out in 1956, so he was probably like maybe in his 20s back then. But highly recommended. I feel you will not be disappointed if you like good movies, good storytelling. This is one of them. You know, his determination and his strive for revenge is what killed him. Great movie. Just this great movie. I don't I mean I, there's not more much more I can say about this movie, how much how great it is. Like this even the book. From the book to the movie. Just flawless. You know, John Huston director directed it. And he he couldn't pick a better guy than Gregory Peck to play Ahab. Like Ahab I, I don't know what I could say. He was just a, a maniacal evil. I can't say evil. He was just want revenge. You know, wouldn't you want revenge too? So some whale took your leg? I would too. You know, I would kill the, the, the monkey too, you know? But that's me. But check it out. We're not being wanted. Moby Dick, Gregory Peck, Richard Basehart, uh, Orson Welles. Check it out. We're not being disappointed.